Our first encounter with slow food is in Barcelona. A red snail at the entrance of restaurant Somorostro tells us that it serves slow food, which is sourced from less than 100 kilometers away. Owner Andres Gaspar serves vegetables from the restaurant's own organic garden just outside Barcelona, gets meat from regional farmers and buys locally caught fish, including bycatch. We buy this type of fishes because it is cheaper and also because we want to, to, to open the, 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 the margin, the, the, the uh, options. You know? Somorostro not only serves locally sourced food, their beer and wine is also regional. We sail to Italy, where Carlo Petrini founded the slow food movement to counter the degradation of food caused by industrialization and standardization. In Bra, we visit the first slow food restaurant and Slow Food International. The organization promotes food that is good for the people who eat it, good for producers and good for the planet. Esther Clementino explains what that means for their work. It means that we are promoting small scale producers who are working with products that are like that needs to be safe, safeguarded. Like um, there are different products like breeds, but also vegetables, fruits, and um, preserves, cheeses. Through its work. Slow Food promotes biodiversity, environmentally friendly production methods and fair prices for artisanal producers. This makes Slow Food sustainable in ecological and social terms. Carlo Petrini also founded the University of Gastronomic Sciences. The institute puts eco-gastronomy center stage. Alessandra Abona shows us the university and tells us that students learn about all different aspects of food. Uh, gastronomic sciences uh, for us are um, really a galaxy of sciences that are in some way touching all the domain of human life uh, from uh, agriculture, from uh, economy, from uh, really the food production itself, uh, to the food culture, to history, to identity, to botany, uh, to uh, food policies. It's a unique university and, um, and has its, um, its, this strong connection with, um, uh, with the philosophy that in some way wants to, to try to change the future of food. There is even a master in slow cuisine and theory and practice of gastronomic sustainability. It educates responsible chefs with special attention for sustainable production. From now on, be sure to look for the red snail for sustainable slow food.